The video that you're looking at right now is being recorded wirelessly over HDMI, and I'm feeding the signal out of my camera's HDMI port into the Timbutech HDMI transmitter and receiver kit, and recording that signal via capture card into my PC. This device claims a transmission range of up to 165 feet at line of sight or up to 30 feet through walls, though I think the thickness and number of walls would definitely be a factor. This kit is simple plug and play with no apps required for use, and Timbutech also claims compatibility with most HDMI output devices, laptops, PCs, Blu-ray players, cameras, DVDs, DSLRs, set-top boxes, cable, satellite boxes, tablets, and more. I would like to point out that gaming consoles didn't make that list, and I wouldn't recommend it for gaming. I did try it out with an Xbox 360, which worked just fine, but there is a potential split second delay that could throw off your game. So I do want to reiterate, I would not recommend this for gaming. As far as what it will work with, pretty much any HDMI devices that work at 4K, 30fps, or 1080p, 60fps, or lower should be fine. For my recording purposes, I fed my test device into the transmitter and then the receiver into my capture card. And then of course the capture card into my PC. Under normal use, you would just substitute the capture card for your viewing device, be it a TV, projector, or whatever. Here, I'm using this ONN streaming device for my guinea pig, and as I apply power to the device, we should see the magic happen. Here we see the transmitter is getting a signal from the video device, and now we see the receiver is also picking up the transmitter. Capturing audio and video was flawless as long as the video resolution and frame rate falls into the range that the device can handle. Here's a sample recording at 4K, 30 frames per second. And here's a sample recording at 1080, 60 frames per second. And the device is not actually capable of sending a 4K, 60 FPS signal, which Tim Butek is openly transparent about. But I wanted to test it anyway, and here is the result. Okay, so we're out here at the park today doing a distance test of this transmitter and receiver kit. And I have the transmitter feeding out of the camera and the receiver feeding into a YOLO box here. And I'm recording it on the YOLO box. And I'm gonna walk backwards and see what kind of distance we can get out of this. Now I am using a wireless mic that is independent of this system. So the mic might cut out uh, depending on distance as well and it is a little bit breezy today so if we get some wind interference noise I do apologize for that but I'm going to continue walking back now I'm about five feet away from the camera right now and now I'm just going to go back try not to step in any rabbit holes or any dog turds so uh, right now I'm about 30 feet away this is probably about 40 feet away 50 feet Away, 60 feet away, 70 feet away, 
check one two check one two three i'm about 50 feet away now check one two check one two three i am about 70 feet away now 80 feet away One, now I'm in between, I'm getting ready to duck in between the two buildings. Something that you're going to want to keep in mind if you're going to broadcast between walls. This is definitely going to perform better if you're in a direct line of sight, but uh, you know, when you're going in between walls, you're really taking a risk there with your uh, broadcast signal. If you want to use this kit as a Miracast device to mirror your phone to a display, you can do that. You can bypass the transmitter completely and connect your phone to the receiver directly. The instructions on how to do this are on the receiver screen that shows whenever it's not getting a signal from the transmitter. So my final thoughts on the Timbutech wireless HDMI kit. Well, it mostly does everything that it claims it will do, but there are going to be some compatibility issues with some devices, which should be expected. For example, I couldn't get it to work with the mini display port of my Surface Pro 3, but that could be because I'm using a cheap third-party adapter cable. Little things like that are things that you should be aware of when using devices like this. I had no problems using it with a Google TV box, my main camera, a GoPro, and an Xbox 360. There's just no way I can test every HDMI device that exists. So will your device work with it? I can give you a good old-fashioned Probably, maybe, but that's the best I can do here. And as far as practical use for this device goes, I personally don't have a use for it to feed a media player to a TV, but where I will be using it for is video production work. My main job is small market TV news, and I handle a lot of the station's remote live streams with a YOLO box. Where I will be using this will be using the device to set up a second camera across the room to feed back to the YOLO box. Maybe a tight shot on one camera and a wide shot on a second one. Anyway, you saw the video samples of what this device can do. I hope I've given you enough information to come to your own conclusion whether or not this device will work for you or not. Thank you for watching.